So the objectives of the module, at the end of this module you would know what is a trident and what are trident topologies, what are the type of trident spout and trident spout components, how to implement trident operators, what is a trident aggregator, what are the functions of different trident aggregators, what are the different types of trident state update patterns. So these would be the uh, major uh, uh, pointers that would, we would actually look at. So just to touch upon the basics uh, to understand what is Trident all about, let's actually uh, see what is Trident. Trident is a high level abstraction framework over Storm. It is similar to DSLR, rather you know it's a domain specific language over Storm. Trident provides high level abstraction for common data processing operations. Pretty much very abstract, so let's actually go into a whiteboard and then see you know, how this the, the whole uh, thing can be actually made a little more clear. So again going back to the uh, normal mode, how do we have, we have actually Okay, so we have tuple streams or rather just called a streams and we have either a spout or We have a bolt and we have other bolts. So this is how normally uh, Thomas, I'm just quickly uh, going through based on the understanding. Just to have a correlation is what I'm actually drawing this out for. Okay, so bolts actually holds the tasks and the operations. So this is the basic nature of uh, Storm and uh, the key importance is over here when this is actually called as streams. So in Trident, when you talk about Trident itself, the major the major difference is that Trident do not deal with streams. So there is no concept of streams or rather you know let me not put it like that let me not make a abstract statement over here to say there is no uh, streams at all but rather Trident is more oriented towards handling batches of tuples. Okay? So when you actually talk about batches of tuples let's actually start representing a batch of tuples. So what do we have? We have a container which is holding batch of tuples. So in the case of Storm, we were actually talking about groupings and how based on the groupings, how the stream is actually uh, getting passed on to the worker of a particular bolt or uh, how the stream is actually funneled across like the shuffle grouping, the all grouping, the custom grouping, all of them we were actually discussing on the grouping phase. Over here, we would actually see different thought altogether when we actually start talking about the batches. Now what we will do is like when we actually talk about the batches, there is the differentiation is that you know how is this batch actually formed? Can these batches be actually overlaid? Can uh, same tuples be actually or you know similar tuples be actually bundled together or how different tuples actually fall into a particular batch or can there be actually sharing of tuples? Can the tuples be expected? So all this would actually come into play when we actually start talking about batch of tuples.
So now we start talking about the tuple badges and uh, now we have a different uh, view altogether. So we have the spout. Or let's call it a random spout. We have the Triton spout and we have we have batches of cubes. Very important. So basically the point that you need to be understanding is there is kind of aggregation. We will actually go into the fact that why do we have to be going to you know this kind of a design. We will go into that. We had actually touched upon it lightly when we actually talked about the fundamentals for storm. operators or other functions aggregators etc. So this is the difference see this actually brings in a drastic difference from the topology that we had uh, been discussing until now. So the difference is that uh, you no more have uh, you know the concept of uh, spout and uh, bolt rather you know at least uh, the input is from a, a spout but the, again there is a difference the emitter is starting to actually emit uh, not tuples but you know batches of tuples and then you have operators or aggregators at the other end point to uh, you know collect it. So the basic question that would actually come into is to say that so is this storm at all. So you pretty much have this confusion like you no, know, okay, come on, this is this is totally different. Like you know, we were talking about spouse and bolt and now we are actually talking about you know something different, something totally different. You don't have functional operators uh, you know where you know the bolts actually come into play and you know where is the parallelism gone? What's happening to all these things? So the one basic understanding that we need to have over here is how Trident is actually overlaid on spout or rather what we have to understand basically is we do have storm, we do have storm but we have a new DSL now. That's what you know. That is what is actually mentioned. We have a new DSL. On. On stop. Okay. All gyan uh, and you know all you know jargons actually is good. But you know what does all this mean? Okay. Let's explain what a DSL is. DSL. DSL stands for domain specific language. Domain specific language. I would say, uh, you know, rather we shouldn't be calling it as a domain specific language or we should actually call it as, uh, I would call it as a functional language. Functional language on stock that would be more appropriate to be actually putting for what Trident actually 
gives our term. Okay. To understand it further or understand it a little more better. To understand it a little more okay. So let's actually go back to the slide and see. Okay. Trident is a high level abstraction framework over Storm. This basically uh, explains uh, our question over here. So is this Storm at all? Yes, the Storm is not actually shown up on the Trident, but you know Storm is actually the underlying layer. Because Trident is the high level abstraction framework over Storm. So it gives you a kind of a language, a functional language which you could use to chain your processes on Storm and get your function done. Okay. Again, uh, you know, kind of a wide statement. I, I, I'll repeat that statement. Trident gives you a functional language using which you could write your business, using which you could, uh, you know, seamlessly build your business as a topology over Storm. So when you actually talk about, when we talked about topology, when we talked about uh, Spouse, Bolt, these are like, you know, more of fine grained components of how Storm works. Right, but you know when we actually come into function, it's all about some average join or Cartesian product and whatnot. Those are the kind of operations that we do so that we could, uh, you know, mix and match the data and query uh, uh, data to provide our results or you know our uh, responses. Okay, so we had been doing all this uh, throughout uh, many years. So, so what's, what's different with Trident? What's, what's coming different over here? In the case of Trident, the difference is that the power of storm, the power of real-time processing. So, but how do you actually apply your operators on real-time? That is where the part of batch comes into play. So, Trident is used to perform real-time batch processing on storm, very, very, very essential and important. Until now, we were only talking about real-time processing, but now we start talking about real-time batch processing because we are actually talking about batch of tuples and not tuple stream. So this is very, very important. 